let's take a look at how we can label only certain areas in QGIS. I have a map of UK districts on my screen and I can easily filter it to show only those areas I want. So in this case, I can click the layer, right click, go to filter. And in this case, I'm gonna use a filter to only show the local areas that are in London. So in this layer, I've got a column which tells me which English region an area is in. And one of them is London. And if I click OK, I can see only London. Now in this case, let's say I only want to label some of these areas, but not all of them. If I use a filter, what's gonna happen is it's only gonna show certain areas. But in QGIS, you can use rule-based labeling. So first of all, I'll double click the layer and I'll just show you in the layer properties. If I go to labels and then single labels and hit apply, I'll change the label color to black. We can see there's labels on all areas. Now, with rule-based labeling, you can choose to label only specific areas based on some kind of rule. So for example, if I go from single labels to rule-based labeling, I can then create a rule. So if I double click here, or if you didn't have any rule there at all, if you don't see anything, I'll remove that. You can just click the green plus, and here's where I can create a rule. Now, how to do this is you click on the little expression button, and that's gonna be just like using a filter for a layer, but instead of filtering the whole layer, you're just sort of filtering for labels. So the next thing is, I'm gonna go to this middle section to the fields and values section because that, what that does is it names all the columns in your data set. So in my data set, I do have a population column. So it tells me the population of areas in mid 2019. So I can double click that. And if I type in the more than symbol and then type in 250,000, what will happen is I'll then be able to label only those areas with 250,000 people or more, or actually more than 250,000 people. And I can click OK. Now, what happens here is you need to make sure in the label section that the value thing is correct. So if you don't check, sometimes it will only label those areas, but it won't label them with what you want. I want to use label name, and then I click OK and apply. And now only those areas with more than 250,000 are labeled. I can then edit this rule by double clicking it and I could change this to say 300,000 and click OK and apply. And that is a really simple way of only labeling specific areas. Now you can use all kinds of rules here. So if I double click this and go to the expression, if I want to just label areas of my choice, for example, based on not a numeric criteria, but something else, I can do it. So I'll go to fields and values. I'll go to area name, double click that, equals, and I'll type, well, I'll click on all unique. So this time I'm going to only label Camden. So area equals Camden is only going to label Camden. I'll click OK, OK, and apply. So only Camden's labeled. If I wanted to choose a few to label, instead of using equals, I can just use in and an open bracket. And then I just need to add some other places in single quotes with a comma between them. So let's label Croydon, Bexley and Hounslow. And the way this works is I have my column area name, I use in, and I've got an open bracket, and then I've got the names of areas in single quotes, and there's a comma between them, and there's a close bracket at the end. I'll click OK, OK, and apply, and then we can see only those ones are labeled. So it's just like using a filter, but instead of using it on the layer, you're using it to create a rule for labels. So that's how you can create a layer labeling rule so that only specific places are labeled. And this can be really useful if you're trying to do a map that highlights certain areas and you just want a few features to be labeled in QGIS.